So uh, basically, I wanted to uh, introduce you uh, to uh, a yoga that I mentioned yes, yesterday uh, in my talk, and which I call the yoga on harmonic of harmonic resonance. And to a second type of yoga, which is uh, which I also develop uh, on, uh, in the course of uh, my life early on, uh, which I call the yoga of infinite uh, space. And these are two uh, yoga that I I was by my connections, were, you know, on when I was meditating and when I was on a sacred site because we are talking a lot about sacred sites here in uh, megalitomania. Eh? Uh, and uh, because of uh, this traveling uh, to so many countries and uh, systematically visiting the sacred sites uh, in, each, uh, in each one, uh, I develop a specific yoga of connection for both uh, that are both linked to also how you can get in touch uh, more deeply with the sacred site. So, uh, the yoga of harmonic resonance, uh, I'm going to uh, say again how I discover it. Uh, I was it shaking uh, between 16 and the uh, then I went to India, I was 21, hitchhiking from uh, Iran. And then I hitchhiked all the way through Africa, from Montségur to India again. And again in India, I made the big round hitchhiking and staying in a sacred site. And uh, so I was hitchhiking very early on. Uh, and uh, at one point, I stopped at a, a church that is on the way to Normandy. And uh, I, there was an harmonium, and I love to play and uh, <coughs> to get, uh, you know, those harmoniums in the church. They were open at that time. So you could get uh, in a church in the middle of the afternoon, which you cannot do anymore now. You. And you could uh, basically, even one uh, time I in one place, I got the key of the, of the organ. I was able to uh, <coughs> play, improvise on the organ. So I had this harmonium. And then I went to do this uh, specific meditation, which uh, I, at that time I knew already uh, had to be uh, exactly under the center of the dome of, uh, of the church. And so basically, you, when you have an architecture, whatever is uh, the style of architecture, where, whatever country you are in, uh, the, the sacred architecture, the, the architecture for temples are or, or very sacred places. Uh, they, unless, uh, unless we are at the megalithic time, where you have only uh, the basic antenna, which is a standing stone coming out, you know, and always with a vertical form, eh? a shape. And, and you have the other one, the yin, uh, so the yang, and the yin, which is uh, the underground chamber, uh, a dolmen, you know, uh, with a huge, huge table. So one is pointed on making an antenna. Uh, and of course, it's, uh, it's simplistic to say yin yang. Eh? Uh, especially when, uh, I mean, uh, uh, men and women are able to, at the same time, meditate on making an antenna and meditate on grounding themselves. So in terms of the psyche and spiritual evolution, of course, uh, this is not the way to look at things. We are more sophisticated, and, but we can say one energy is ascending and making antenna and the other energy the chamber, the underground chamber, is grounding with the and receiving and, and, and participating to the energy of the, the earth, the telluric energy. So telluric uh, means specifically related to earth as a, a crust, uh, a planet on, on, the, 
on the ground. Cosmic, of course, as the energy coming uh, from uh, the cosmos and specifically the stars. And um, so we are going to see these uh, types of energy. <coughs> and the third type of energy is uh, in terms of uh, this is a, what I call semantic, se having to do with meaning, having to do with consciousness, the, the creation of meaning. That is, the, the semantic energy is the energy we use to think, and it is also uh, the type of energy, and it's, it's, it's everything, you know, your semantic energy. I call it your semantic field, your consciousness. You are mind, body, psyche. You have uh, all kinds of flavors. And within your semantic energy is, are also the emotions. When you feel, you give meaning to something. Eh? When you react, uh, even instinctively, it's still on the base of a meaning for maybe your instinctive uh, being. So all this, everything we are based in is, uh, has to do with meaning. So it's, uh, even when we utter a word, when we react, when we have emotions, when we have uh, ideas, intellectual ideas, they are all connected to all the other levels of your body. Sometimes you react with three quarters of your body and a, a little bit of uh, intellect. And sometimes it's the opposite, but you don't have one thing you don't have is an idea that is devoid of emotion and, and body uh, feeling. And this is uh, very important to understand. In, uh, this is uh, what a theory in cognitive science that I developed, which is called theory of sem semantic field theory. Because it's like taking the whole person as a multi-level uh, one system. So, to get back to, to the energy, the, the SIG, semantic, I take the S, sigma in Greek, and I call it SIG with a Y. SIG energy, in short, is the energy of consciousness. So, the third type of energy we have when we are gathering now uh, in those sacred places is the energy that we bring as a full pe person, you know, mind, body, psyche. And this energy is able to connect with the other people. And uh, we create a kind of uh, harmony field between our consciousness, especially when we are in rituals, especially when we are in a, uh, in a shared uh, state, you know, like... Uh, we are listening, we are at a concert, listening to, to the concert. We create a kind of harmony field between all the people listening. This can happen also in, uh, when we are in uh, making some rituals, uh, trans uh, rituals uh, everywhere in the world. Let's remember that all shamanic cultures from the past had uh, rituals, you know, collective rituals on, on all the cult, uh, possession cult, you know, in uh, Africa and Brazil, they all had uh, collective rituals of trance. That trance was uh, everywhere on the planet. Hmm? <coughs> so the third type of energy, I repeat myself, uh, is uh, uh, the SIG energy, I call it, uh, and SIG energy is, uh, is going to have different types of, uh, of imprinting. But this is the type of imprinting in, it, it is imprinted in the atmosphere, in, uh, in, the, in the prana, you know, in the air. The Hindu concept of prana uh, has to do with an energy which is in the cosmos and in our atmosphere, specifically on Earth. And when we breathe uh, this, uh, this energy, we, we are able to uh, get inside ourselves the energy from the cosmos. <coughs>